workbook and lesson to accompany this video available on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teacher in sweatpants. Root beer float experiment. Please watch this entire video and complete the experiment worksheets prior to completing this experiment. Safety first. Teachers should be aware of any allergies or intolerances prior to completing this experiment. Students, please do not taste or eat anything during the experiment. Your teacher will determine when and if you will taste test this experiment. Science often begins with observation and curiosity. You may have questions about the world we live in and ask, Will store-bought bread or homemade bread grow mold first? Do plants grow more in the day or the night? Which insulated cup keeps drinks hot longer? When making a root beer float, will dairy or non-dairy ice cream create the most foam? The scientific method is a process of answering questions through testing and experimentation. Not all scientists and experiments can follow the scientific method exactly, but most follow a basic version like this one. Today we will make root beer floats using the scientific method. Please use experiment sheet A. The first step in the scientific method is asking a question. The question must be testable by doing an experiment. You will want to complete some background research on the topic to deepen your understanding. Root beer float experiment question. When making a root beer float, will dairy or non-dairy ice cream make the most foam? You may want to do some research about root beer floats to deepen your understanding. You may want to look up the science behind the root beer float foam. Other root beer float experiments? Ingredients of dairy and non-dairy ice cream, the ingredients of root beer, and any other background information topics you can think of. The second step in the scientific method is forming a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess that includes a prediction that is testable and measurable. If I use dairy ice cream to make a float, then there will be more or less foam than if I used a non-dairy ice cream. Please fill out experiment sheet B. The third step in the scientific method is material. The material list is a list of all the equipment and ingredients that you will need for the experiment. For this experiment, you will need dairy ice cream, non-dairy ice cream, a graduated cylinder, measuring cups and spoons, and root beer. Step number four in the scientific method is procedures. Procedures are the directions to follow when doing an experiment. The directions for this experiment are to pour a 300 milliliter or 10 ounces of root beer in a graduated cylinder. Prepare 15 milliliters or three teaspoons of ice cream. Add the ice cream to the root beer and watch to see how high the foam rises. Record the height. Clean out the graduated cylinder and repeat steps one through four with non-dairy ice cream. Variables. There are three different types of variables. The independent variable is the one that is changed by the scientist during the experiment. The dependent variable is what is being tested, observed, or measured in the experiment. The controlled variables are the things being controlled to make the experiment fair. The independent variable for the root beer float experiment is the type of ice cream. That is what we are going to change. The dependent variable for the root beer float experiment is the amount of foam. That is what will be measured. The controlled variables for this experiment are the temperature of the soda, 
the amount of soda we use, and the amount of ice cream we use. The fifth step in the scientific method is experiment results. Follow the procedures to conduct your experiment. Make sure to carefully record everything you do, measure, and observe. Experiment sheet C is the one you're working on. The sixth step to the scientific method is conclusion. Analyze the data results you have taken and come to a conclusion. Draw a conclusion to see if your data supports your hypothesis. Communicate this conclusion in a report or a presentation. In conclusion, I found that the blank ice cream created more foam compared to the blank ice cream. This result supported or did not support my hypothesis. Future direction. The future direction of research includes changing the independent variable. Maybe while doing this experiment, you may have thought, how can I make even more foam? Maybe I can change something. That something would be the independent variable. Our independent variable for this experiment was the type of ice cream. Our controlled variables were the temperature of the soda, the amount of soda, and the amount of ice cream. If we wanted to redo this experiment, we could switch and change the independent variable to the amount of soda and control the type of ice cream, which would mean we would choose one type of ice cream. Complete this experiment using the worksheets. Complete page three in your matter workbook. Workbook and lesson to accompany this video available on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teacher in sweatpants. Check out my other videos on YouTube.